Hey everyone, welcome back to the studio. My name is Carson from K2 Productions, as always. And today we're going to start our part two of the Harry Potter Hogwarts Rogue tutorial videos. So in the last video, we finished up cutting everything out. We learned how to use the patterns. We figured out what we needed. So in this video, we're going to start sewing, actually, and start putting everything together. So let's get right into it. So for the first thing that we're going to do, it's just this little stay stitch right here on the neck of the back and front pieces. I'm pretty sure seven is the back and six is the front. I'm almost positive. Okay, so yeah, you can see on the instructions, these are, these are the front and the back pieces. So you're just going to do this little stitch right inside the line on all of the front and back pieces. So the two lining, the two liner front pieces, the two back black pieces or lining back pieces if you did that. And then all four of the front and back back black outside pieces. So now I'll show you what that looks like on the sewing machine. So now like the instruction said, we are going to be sewing just a little, stop moving, just a little line right basically right inside the edge of all the neck pieces of the front and back pieces of the liner and of the outside. So we'll kind of get right on to that. Uh, I'm doing it literally like, um, like an eighth of an inch in basically where we're actually going to be stitching again uh, once we are putting the hood on and stuff like that. So just barely right inside the fabric. We made it. It's not going to look pretty. But we're never going to see this seam anyway. It's all the other stuff that's important. And if you, if you look closely at my other robe, uh, the seams are like not incredible. They're not like horrible. But, uh, they're definitely not great, you know, just, that's okay though. Oop, there it goes. Can you see the seam at all? Eh, not really at all. You can literally not see it at all. Oh, there. All right, so you, so you can kind of see where I put the seam. It's really hard. To see, focus you bat bastard. Oh, there we go. So you can see where my seam is. It's literally just right along the edge of the neck spot. And so this is the one of the black backs, I'm pretty sure. I have a little B on it somewhere. Yeah, this is one of the black backs. So you're just going to have to do this. <clears throat> there we go. You can look at me again. So you're just going to have to do this to all of the front and back pieces of the lining and the uh, outside. So once you're done sewing your little, your little like quarter circles, we'll move on to the next bit. Okay. So next it tells you to put on the, the uh, pockets, but I put, I like to attach the front and backs first before I put on the pockets just because it helps it just line up everything up a little bit better. So you can see it doesn't label them, but these are these are six and seven, so the front and back pieces. So this is one back piece, and then you can see shaded right here is one front piece. And all you're gonna do is just give this little stitch right here on both of them, and you're gonna do this to all four of the pieces, well, all eight of them technically, but then you'll be joining them together to make four. So it'll be, it'll be uh, black front and black back pieces, two of them, and then uh, black back and blue front or liner front, and you know, two of those as well. So you're just gonna do that little slit right back, right up there, and then we'll move on to the next. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find a front and a back piece, both in black, because we're making the outside first, and all you're going to do is line up. So here is where my two stay stitches are. And as you can see, the, the front piece has a little bit lower neckline, you know, for just to expose your, while well, the other, just like a regular shirt does, you can see, you know, lower neckline and higher. Um, and you're just going to line up all the corners. So I have two 
I'm going to line up this corner with this corner and then hold this corner and line up my sleeves. The next part, I'm going to line up my sleeves as best as I can and then I'm going to grab that corner and kind of bring my fingers all the way down to the bottom so that you can see they're all it's all kind of lined up correctly together as best as we can do. I don't use pins a lot, which I, I know I should. It would probably uh, help me out a bit. But yeah, so you're going to line them all up as best as you can. And then we're just going to do a straight line across this top stitch like the instructions said. We're just going to go straight across about half an inch inside, you know, quarter of an inch, kind of however much seam allowance you gave yourself but at least probably like a quarter of an inch inside. You can also use the lines that we drew on the pattern. You can barely, 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 barely see them. There's one of them. And that's, they're meant to line things up as well. Uh, but we drew the patterns a couple of days ago and these all these have been rustled around and whatnot. So most of them are gone, but you do need them for the pockets. So we'll be doing that next after we do this. But Basically, you're just going to sew all these, the top of, you know, the top piece right here, the shoulder piece, on all of them. So you're going to take a, a front and a back, and a front and a back. Do that twice, you know, for both sides of your outside. And then also the front and the back of the inside, which would be the liner on the front and the black on the back, or liner, liner, it, depending on what you want. And it doesn't really matter since... Our fabric is the same on both sides, so you can just put them together whichever side you think looks best. Just remember that on the outside, these are the wrong sides because they'll be flipped inside out. And on the inside, these will be the night sides as well. So you can see, like I said, you'll stitch it like this, and then when we're finished, it will be pulled out like this, and it'll sit on your shoulder. This is the right side. So it'll sit on your shoulder like that with the sleeve attached to you. Just remember that when you're putting your two sides together, if you do have two-sided fabric or one side just doesn't look as nice or something like that, um, make sure on these ones, well, technically on, on both your inside and your outsides, the insides or the sides that you will see are going to be put together on the inside. So like the side that you're seeing right now, you will not see because it'll be inside and it'll be covered by the liner. And when you sew the liner, the side that you see right now will not be seen because when you open up your jacket, this will be what is seen or your robe jacket muggle what is well <laughs> so just another thing to show you real quickly just to make sure you're all on the right track this is a front lining piece and a black back piece or a back lining piece if uh you're doing the entire inside the same color so you're literally doing the exact same thing just remember that the piece the faces that are together are the pieces that you're going to see when you open up your robe and you're looking inside of it. So for any reason, if you are, if there's a better side of your fabric or there is a bad side of your fabric, like for this robe, my blue is the same on both sides, but for my Gryffindor robe, the fabric that I bought was only silky and, um, you know, shiny and nice and whatever on one side and on the other side it was flat like matte colored so I had to pay attention to which side was which but in this case it doesn't really matter which side you put against each other so just reminding you so when we get ready to put the pockets on so you can see here you're going to put the pockets on like this first so they're going to be facing the good side of the rope so this shaded gray area is the outside of the robe and that's where you're going to be putting the pockets because then they're going to flip all the way around so that they're on the inside so what i did 
is I, I get my pieces that I've already cut out. Uh, the chalk marks are pretty faded, so what I'm gonna do is redraw all the chalk marks on them for the patterns just so that I know that they're all in the right place. So you'll see there will be like little tick marks and stuff like that, just so I'm certain that they're in the right place so that I don't have to worry about them, you know, not lining up perfectly and stuff like that. So now that we've looked at the instructions, we're gonna take one of our four pockets, now that we have the registration lines on it, and we're gonna take one of our black front and black back pieces, because this will be the outside of the robe, because your pockets will be right here, you know, right here when you're reaching. And we're gonna take the pocket, we're gonna kind of open it up because this needs to go on the inside of these two fabrics. And you're gonna open them up and put your pocket, line it up with the line right here, and then fold it back over. So right now, all I have is the front piece and the pocket. Because if we sew, if we sew the front piece, the back piece, and the pocket together, then you won't be able to reach into your pocket. So you're gonna do it like this to the front piece and then you're gonna take your other pocket piece and sew it the exact same way on the back piece. So once you've got the pockets stitched on like that, my brother ironed them out like this. So you can see there, they were facing this way and then you're just gonna flip them out uh, and I'll show you what that looks like. And then they'll be out like this. So this is the, this is now the inside. Of, so it's all turned inside out. This is the inside of the robe. So for these, all you're gonna do is you can see it starts right here. You're gonna start at the, at the armpit spot go down and then stop and turn right at the pockets go all the way around the outside of the pockets stop and turn and go down so then you'll have something that literally looks like this but then when you turn it inside out you're going to have pockets pockets that you can reach into so now you can see i've gotten the pockets done on one side so this is the front and then the back piece of my outside of my robe and so this is you can see I have it technically turned inside out. This is the seam at the top where the shoulder is. And then as we go down, you can see here is where my two pockets are sewn. So when you open it up, I have a one pocket sewn to the front and one pocket sewn to the back. So basically, the way this is going to work is you're going, they were, you know, facing inwards. And now you're going to turn them inside out and put them together, line everything up and put them together like this. And then we're going to sew our side stitch that goes all the way down the side of the robe. So it'll go all the way down here. And then once you hit the pocket, you go around the pocket all the way around and then meet up with that steam that we just sewed and turn your sewing machine and go all the way down to the end. So you don't have to, but uh, my brother, he helped me out because I'm not mobile. Um, he ironed my pocket pieces out. He just ironed the seams down like this so they're nice and crisp and going the opposite way now instead of how they were normally you know, fold it over like this. And it helps just because it'll it'll just make your your uh, pockets just a little um, nicer and closer. And uh, yeah, just look better basically. So you can see I just started stitching the side of the first part of the outside of the uh, robe. So Here's the shoulder seam up here, and then this is the side now right here. So I just started at the armpit, and I came down, and right now I'm at the beginning of the pocket right here. So everything is lined up. I made sure that the seams that you did right here are perfectly aligned so that your pocket looks nice and clean from the outside. So now that we've gotten to 
the point where we need to turn for to do to actually sew around the pocket. Basically what you're going to do is I have the make sure the needle is down in the fabric so that when you lift up the foot the fabric is not going to move anywhere. And basically you lift up the foot and you just rotate all the fabric. So the fabric actually didn't move. You're still in the exact same spot that you just were. But now we're rotated so that you can do your seam around the pocket. So then you put your foot back down and you start up. Make sure your pocket's lined up very nicely. So as we're coming around to where the pocket meets, just really make sure that it's lined up as nice as you can get it. So that when you get there and when we turn it all inside out, your pocket looks really good. Again, like we did at the top, we're going to make sure that the needle's all the way down, lift it up, and then spin our fabric so that we can continue the seam all the way down. So I just finished my other pocket now and I just want to let you guys know something. So you can tell it's inside out. You know that my stitch is right here. And when you're coming around the pocket, you want to make sure that the little flap, you know, your little seam allowance is going out towards this pocket. Uh, because if it's not, it'll kind of mess up the flow of your seam, especially when the pocket rejoins right here. It'll look a little funny. So when I originally went around, I was going around, I came here and the top, which this was the top at the time, the top looked fine. It was going the right way, but the bottom had gotten flipped around. So when I lifted my foot up to turn it like this, I noticed that this was facing the opposite way and it wasn't underneath the needle. So it's a, it's pretty easy, you know, just like go back over it. So all you do is you, instead of leaving the needle in so you can turn it, you're just gonna have to take out the needle and make sure that strip is folded over the right way, like it needs to be for the rest of the time. And then like back up a little bit, like start, you know, start with your foot right here, do your little back stitch and start over again. And then once you get here, you leave the needle in and you turn it. But more of a story, just make sure that your seam allowance is facing this way of the pocket. Otherwise, it'll kind of give you a little funny, um, it just won't flow, it'll look a little funny. So now that we have both of these done, you can turn it inside out and you can see here, is our side of our robe and our nice little pocket right here. So you can see it flows together perfectly and you wouldn't even know that there's a pocket together. And you can tell that we did it perfectly because our line lines literally right up on either side, which is awesome. So that makes me feel good. So now you can kind of wear a little bit of your robe for the first time. So put your arm through here and this is kind of what it's going to look like. And then down here is your pocket. So I would stand up, but uh, I can't really do that. So, but yeah, there we go. Another step. All right, so hopefully you guys have that all figured out. Um, now that we have the black ones together, you're just going to have to do that 
uh, what, four more times, three more times. Um, basically, you know, you, you put one side together with the pockets, you put the other side together with the pockets, and now you're just going to have to do the exact same thing for the insides with the uh, lining and the lining. So uh, just make sure to have the good sides together when you're, full, when you're putting them all together, and that's really about it, and then we will move on to the next steps in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching again. I'm super glad to be back again, as I told you before. I'm so happy to be making videos again, and I'm really happy to be interacting with you guys again and just getting back on YouTube. So uh, I really hope everything turned out all right for you guys so far, and you're figuring out everything with these videos. As always, put comments, you know, in the in the comments below, ask questions, you know, tell me if you're making something. I definitely love to hear from any of it, you know, whatever you want to tell me. I mean, maybe not whatever, don't be freaking weird, but... But, uh, you know, if you want to tell me that you're making a robe or or really anything else, honestly, I'd love to hear about it. Uh, I ask any questions if you were confused about the tutorial videos or anything like that. I'd love to hear anything. Any interaction is good for me, especially because I literally don't leave my house at all because I can't walk. So, you know, just really uh, any human interaction is good. Definitely, if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe for more. Uh, this is only part two of many parts to come. So hit the subscribe button and the bell notification because you do not want to trust YouTube telling you what you want to watch and when you want to watch it. You need to know when my stuff comes out or when anybody's stuff comes out that you care about, but really mine. But really, that's, uh, that's about it for today. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Uh, I hope you have a great day. Get out there and make something and let me know how your robe is going.